Okay, so... Okay, so... An update, right? Okay, so... This whole... The dash had to come forward. You guys can see, but... The dash... The dash basically had to come forward. Now... There's one way to do this job, and there's only one way to do this job, which is the right way, which I didn't do that, okay? Okay, so these bolts here, right, and that bolt there hold the rest of the frame up, but to take the dash off completely, you are going to have to remove, you're going to have to remove the good old steering column. Which I decided not to do. So, I just basically two, took the two bolts down and just dropped it. I didn't uh, do the third bolt, which is the center bolt that runs across the thing. I just uh, decided to drop it. You know, take the two bolts from up top, which I guess I can show you guys that real quick. Here. Okay, here. Which is just these two bolts here. This one and that one there. Uh, 13, they're half. 13 half inch and uh yep that's it so i just dropped it down pulled everything forward uh remember which way your wires go one comes here one comes here one comes one comes here there there so the wire wire harness pops up so yeah, one two three so you guys remember that and uh the side panel here they had to come out I didn't know that at first, but, uh, yep, they have to come out, so, she's out, and, um, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, too, uh, on, on this centerpiece here, the centerpiece, it's got a 10 millimeter bolt here, right, right in the center here, and there's a panel, there's a panel on the back, pop the panel down to access one, and that one there so it's at the back of it there's a panel pop the panel down access those two bolts so it's those three bolts and, and it, that just pops up all right so all right let's go back around here and uh let's go back around here okay so okay so like I said, the right way to do it is to actually pull, is to actually pull the, the subframe off also, unbolt that, and pull that out, and then you would be all right. But, uh, the, this bar that seems to be cut runs from here to there. That holds the heater core. Uh, it blocks the heater core, so you could do kind of do what I did. I just took a sawzall and whacked the damn thing and kind of pulled it off. That way, I'm gonna bend it back when I'm done replacing that. But I didn't have enough time. It's getting dark and it's kind of cold out here, so I just decided to do it that way. All right. Uh, I'll update again in a couple of minutes after I've pulled it out. Uh, as you can see, it's leaking pretty bad. You've got this one screw here, and this screw here. Ah, that's your 20 millimeter, your 20 T20 screw, your T20 screw. All right, and uh, chuck that in the magnetic pan there. And yeah, so I'm gonna slap this thing in here and see, proceed to put it back together. Okay.